Oh, it's another Monday, and uh, I'm ready to get to work on this uh, clay again. I'm going to work on his hair today and uh, try to get it started. I'm not going to finish it out until it, he's on his body. Um, and then I'm going to take the uh, female and put her head here as well and work on it today too. I want to do some improvement on that head as well. Um, I changed out the background. I put a more, uh, not quite as bright a background on behind my uh, clay. I think it might, the other backgrounds tend to wash out uh, the uh, clay because of the fact that uh, it's uh, bright and uh, it misreads the, color, the uh, light on the uh, clay itself. So I'm going to get started here in about two seconds. Please like and subscribe and click the bell. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to center his part in his hair. I better do that with a, yeah. Now that board doesn't quite stretch <laughs> far enough for the two side cameras, but that's okay. All right. Well, I do have a bigger board, so I'll just use that less pattern on it makes it a lot better I think now I've been looking at photographs and I even asked a uh, friend of mine who knows uh, how they would have wore their hair some would wear it over their ears some would wear it behind their ears and uh, the lady that I asked about the uh, hair said that if they wore earrings, they would wear the hair somewhat over their ear or behind their ear. I'm going to go over part of the ear. And uh, I think it'll be fine. I've been looking at uh, photographs this morning of Native American Indians and uh, primary uh, the Sioux and uh, which is a Plains Indian and uh, I'm going to be comfortable with what I come up with here just have it come over part of the year Now, the reason I'm doing the hair now is because uh, if I wait till he's on the uh, horse, it'll be a lot harder to reach up and, and try to do that. I'll complete his hair once uh, I have him on the horse. do is uh, put the uh, three braids, one for the front hair, one for the center, and one for the back. And that establishes somewhat the direction the hair is going to go on his head itself.
All right, I'm holding the camera in my hand so you can see that I've got the hair on this side of his head. It's his uh, right side, no, left side of his head is done, as well as the uh, right side. And I'm going to be putting his head back on his body here in about one second. So I'm going to take the uh, head out of the, the uh, jig very carefully, not trying to destroy anything that I've worked so hard to do. And now I'm going to take his head. I'm going to heat up. If I can find my. Yeah, there we go. Going to heat up the uh, bottom part of the uh, wire just so it'll melt into the clay, go in a little easier, so I don't have to distort his head any to push it in. And there we go. And I want to. And uh, I'll add to these uh, braids when I get to that point because right now it's just a little. too much action going on and I don't want to have the braids get in the way. Okay, push back on his head a little. Now he's looking down at her. Good. Angles his head just a little bit. Looks good. That looks good. Oh, that worked out perfect. His head's perfect size. Her, hers isn't. I'm going to have to redo her head, I think. But her, his head turned out great. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for today. And I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.